Former President Donald Trump, the GOP presidential nominee, leads Vice President Kamala Harris, the presumptive Democratic nominee, in Georgia, a critical swing state in this year's election, but the gap is tightening, according to recent polls. President Joe Biden dropped out of the 2024 presidential race and endorsed Harris on July 21 following what many considered a poor debate performance against Trump on the CNN debate stage in Atlanta in late June. In 2020, Biden won against Trump in Georgia by just over 12,600 votes 49.5 to 49.3 percent. Now that Harris has replaced Biden, the pressure is on for her to hold on to swing states that Biden won by slim margins in 2020. Right now, it is looking like a toss-up in the peach state. Polling aggregator Fiverr 38 showed Trump's lead over Harris in Georgia tighten this month. On July 30, Trump was ahead of Harris by 1.4 percentage points, with a polling average of 45.6% to Harris's 44.2%. By August 11, Trump lost one percentage point. The former president's new polling average is 45.8% while Harris's is 45.4%. Newsweek had reached out to Harris's and Trump's campaigns via email for comment on Sunday afternoon. A poll conducted by Fabrizio, Lee Associates and Impact Research between July 24 and 31st, found that Harris and Trump were tied at 48% in Georgia. The poll, commissioned by the American Association of Retired Persons AARP, surveyed 1,254 likely voters in the Peach State. Newsweek has reached out to AARP asking for the poll's margin of error. In a poll conducted by Insider Advantage and the Trafalgar Group from July 29 to 30, Trump was ahead of Harris by two percentage points 49 to 47 percent in Georgia. The poll's margin of error was plus or minus 3.47 percent. Newsweek has reached out to Polling Plus, which released the poll's findings, asking for the poll's sample size. A public policy polling survey commissioned by Democratic Super PAC Progress Action Fund found Harris narrowly leading Trump in Georgia 48 to 47 percent. The poll was conducted from July 29 to 30, surveyed 662 Georgia voters and had a margin of error of plus or minus 3.8 percentage points.